All right, let's do let's do this um, Viola guy here. So Viola is white, and white, the best trick for white is the contrast. Like Apothecary White is, uh, it, it does the job. It does the job. So we're gonna give this a good shake. Now it only works on white primer. You cannot. It's one of those weird contrasts that does not work on anything else. So you have to use white primer to do this. And once we have like a flat white base coat like we have now and now we can even see it thanks to the new uh, fuckery with the camera yeah man the towel the white arm when when they changed the basic towel look for this one it made me want towel a lot more so now we're just gonna slather this on everything here and we're trying to do um so uh, we're trying to get just like one even coat on everything not really you know, not, not going overboard here because it will, otherwise it will look a lot of gray. And we don't really want that to be, uh, we don't want it to be gray, we want it to be white. Alright, so we got, we got a good, good base coat going. Uh, let me show you guys. So we're going to leave this here uh, to dry because, uh, because we need it uh, to be dry before we can continue that. Alright. And we should be good to go for some uh, some of that uh, other color here. Where's the... Let's get a decent brush. So the towel are always like basically three parters. So there's uh, there's the armor part, there's the cloth part, and then there's the legs or the, the hooves or whatever. And there's rarely something more to, to every single towel. And then you can replace the cloth with the, the workings if you're doing like suits and everything. But they're always the same three things. So you just have to kind of block them apart and do each one individually. So I think we're going to do the hooves first and we're going to start with black. And then we're also going to do all of the like straps and whatnot because they always have straps. Whew. So we're just going to do base coats for now. So black base coat here and then we're going to do a base coat on the on the little like uh, cloth. And then we're gonna highlight and shade everything right after. And uh, if you wanna add bell damage to this white, it's pretty easy. I would uh, take Skaven Blight Dinge. I think it's, it looks the best on the white. It's like a greenish, greenish gray. But uh, in my, my opinion, this, this is the one that looks the best. Oh, the North, North Carolina, cool. Sweet. All right, so we, we, we got this here. So now our black, our uh, white is kind of done. Our black is base coat. And now we're going to add some of that uh, towel color. I like uh, Dark Reaper for that towel look. Not that, not quite blue, somewhat gray. I dig it. Just gonna do the legs. And again, this this little part here is not gonna be. Uh, it's not the fine. It's not white, so we don't care about painting over it. This is. Uh, So we got that, that towel color here with the um, with the dark reaper, and we're gonna need to touch up that that black because it's not really it's not great so far. Let's do uh, red stripes because there's a couple of red stripes. Now you can use these uh, for squad markings, which is kind of good. But because we only have this one guy, we don't really have any squad markings, so we can just do whatever looks cool. So we're gonna just paint like a big line here on his shoulder, just like one. So we're gonna just draw a line as straight as we can for now. We don't we don't care that it's not completely straight. And we don't care about the little uh, 
little blip in the middle there because we're gonna we're gonna paint over that one with the gold. So now now that we have our like our kind of our baseline, we're gonna just gonna build up, up around it and try to make the the exterior straight as an arrow. I know um I know he's not like that uh that like superstar anymore uh because of the the, the whole cheating thing but tj lanigan has taken the um stay is taken lvo pretty seriously like he's he's been like hardcore practicing and and uh like s being super focused on it i, I think it will do great things he's playing uh gene Stewart cults it's to, to me this is like mind-boggling Okay, so we got our kind of our base here going, and I kind of I, I dig what we got going on because this is not like overly complicated, you know. So now we're gonna add some gold, and I'm not the biggest like fan of usually of gold into the towel, but th these ones are very very like specific uh, into these uh, these little things. Like the gun is always gold in this game. I think it's gonna be the only one probably that's gonna be uh, that's gonna have the gun the the the, the Good lord gold color sorry and we're using retributor because it, it covers like nobody's business especially on the white like if you do metallics over white you need one that covers really really well otherwise you're gonna have a bad time and, and nothing prevents us from adding these little buttons uh Further. So now that we got our base coats on everything, now our white is kind of done already because of the contrast. Uh, we are good to go for highlights. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take, um, take it on scale or Incubi Darkness. It's going to be Incubi Darkness. And we're going to highlight the black with this color here. So all of our little... Um, all of our little um, hooves and all of our little straps. We are gonna highlight with this. So now, now's a good time to you know t take our time. So no need to rush because we're doing some small. Yeah, incubate darkness and stay it on scale green are just like so, such balling. Cause cause if you overdo it, you just add some null oil to whatever you did, and it kind of brings back the black into, well, black. So it's like it's really forgiving. Back to the back to the main thing. Oh yeah, let's add that red that uh on the little antenna. Cause that would look cool. That checks out. Sensor unit kind of checks out for that little part of the. And this is the hardest part of using contrast is like touch ups are really, really hard to, to, to come by because you have to kind of do the whole the whole painting process again if you want to highlight it. Which, which is one of the things that I try to especially if you're doing like armies you want to try to avoid these um th these effects or these techniques that require a lot of time to touch up if you mess up like you kind of want to plan around messing up uh and then this this is really not forgiving that's why we have to like be very careful okay so we are that this is pretty good we are one hour in into the stream but i've spent at least 10 minutes uh just not doing shit uh and just like chatting and uh and we're you know we're not rushing through this so that means that this scheme is like insanely fast right and like this this mall is gonna look pretty freaking great so red is kind of done and now we're gonna highlight the little tau skin and we're gonna use a blue like what's like calgar blue or oh it's blue i picked calgar let's see yeah let's do calgar so when I have here, so we're gonna highlight our Dark Reaper with uh, Calgar blue, 
And this is going to be a little bit steep, but that's okay because we're going to wash this with null oil right after. That is sweet. So a grok searchade is basically only going to be for the gold. If there was more red, we would probably use it on the red. But now there's so little and it's all freehand, so we can't really wash it, so we're not going to. We're only going to do it on the gold. And we're going to be pretty generous with this because... Uh, well, because it looks nice. So we're still, we're still, we're being generous, but we're not going to go like super crazy because we don't want it to, to seep into the white. And then we're going to go black and then the black is going to go onto all of our uh, Tao skin tone. And we could use blue if you're, if you dig that, like, Uh, if if like if you dig the the blue look, uh, use uh, use uh, Nagarot Knight here, uh, but I'm not too keen on the like super blue. Uh, maybe maybe we'll do we'll do the super blue on another uh, different model. I think that I think that's a fair fair play here. So uh, you know if you're watching this into a video and then you go, man, I wish he did the skin blue. Just check one of the other uh, you know one of the other videos that you know. I get clicks, you get the good skin tone, everybody wins. Um, that's, that's business, folks. I learned it all from spiky bits. Getting them clicks. Boom. And then the fingers. Cause, and if, if it's too dark for you, taste, it's fine, because we can just like come back with the uh, Calgar blue and just kind of uh, like touch it up again. But overall, it, it gives us like a solid model. And now we're going to add some fun stuff. Because, you know, all that is great and all, but we're not done. So now we're going to hit that purple. No. Uh, so, but purple will look nice, but anything that's not... I Like, the only color I would probably not do here is red or pink. So now we're going to do all of these little lenses purple. Like so. We're going to do the little pip boy action. Like so. And then we're going to add just uh, top buttons or bottom buttons, I think. Top purple and then do we want to add some more because now we could paint ex extra details here and there if we wanted to but i think less is more in this case so we're just going to do these now we're going to highlight these with which one is a gene stealer i think the the good lilac color so just pick like a vibrant a vibrant one that we like and then we're just highlighting we're just highlighting what we just did Not you know nothing too crazy. It doesn't have like this big glow. Okay. So we got a bunch of these. And then on this shoulder plate, we could add the uh, we could add here some sort of a uh, squad marking for real. And we're gonna use Drushi Violet or Druki Violet, say it with, however you will, because that that violet is really go good into the gold, and it kind of ties in with the um, with the color that we just laid out. So unlike uh, the previous one, now we're going to be very extra careful. Unlike the Agrox Search Aid now, you know, we're going to be extra careful here. We don't want to put too much. We just want to add a little bit of the, a uh, little bit of the contrast. Because the, the purple is going to clash a lot with that yellow. So we got, you know, like, a, this is, like, really, really speed painted, but you could line up, like, ten of them and just, like, get them done, and then all of these fire warriors w would look, you know, better than the average bear on the table. And now one cool thing that you can do with this contrast is extra edge highlights, which is exactly what we're going to do. So that way we can add a little bit more uh, crispness to this armor 
because the the Gundam suits are really cool because they have all of these angles in them. Like a lot of them are curves, but a lot of them are like flat little angles. So we can add all of these and bring them back to this vibrant white. So now, now this is the time of like pick your battles. Like you can do all of them. You can do some of them. I choose. I like some of them. I don't like to do every single uh, line because I, I think it's it's a little bit too much. But if 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 you like if you like that look and you like the super um, like super crisp lines, you mean you can do you can do plenty. There we go. So now we got our little towel guy. He's pretty much done. And we're pretty much happy, so we're just gonna break him off from there, are we? Oh, we're gonna cut him off from there. And then we're gonna place him into a different little base, probably this one. there and I'm gonna just add a little whoops a little dab of the uh, activator like so and, and now with a base you, you see how the white is now suddenly not like this lackluster but we have a finally done the Orla uh, fire water all right, so uh, if you're watching this in the video, uh, be sure to check out other videos because uh, we're recording three right now.